it's Felicity from Get Your Rocket, and I'm here chatting to a couple of the guys from Three Days Grace. How are you today? Doing great. <laughs> Real good. And we are, of course, here at Download Festival. And so have you guys got to experience much of it so far? No, you can tell by our lack of mud. You know, that's, I should have just looked at I the know, shoes. You can just right? tell by the shoes who, who's been here the longest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're excited. I mean, to be at Donington Park is like, we've been kind of waiting for this our whole lives. It, even in North America, this festival is known as like the, the festival. Wow. You know, so wow. it's cool to be here. Yeah, definitely. And like, even if it is like chucking it down with rain and you're going to end up, you know, like literally head to toe in mud by the time you leave, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the same. I, I was here, I think, two years ago with my old band and uh, it was exactly the same. Mud everywhere. Well, that's what we like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the thing about, that's the great thing about festivals is people just get dirty and just go crazy. And it's, that's what rock, rock is all about being dirty. That, is that right? Is that right? I like to say it's a good quote right there. Good quote. <laughs> and are you guys gonna actually be able to check out anybody else at all while you're here? Or yeah? Yeah, we're gonna check out the crew. Kiss, I'm sure. We'd like to check out Billy Idol, but we're gonna be on the same time as him, so yeah. <laughs> You can, like, between songs, you can listen out for him. You can just, like, tell everyone to shut up for 30 seconds, listen to him for 30 seconds, and then crack on again, right? Yeah, I might look back and Neil might be not there. He might be playing to a click track or something. <laughs> no. Just like, like an inflatable dummy sitting behind, yeah. yeah it's a flailing tube man. Yeah. We'll just get him on the It's drums. not the first time I've been called an inflatable dummy, okay? <laughs> I think it's a beautiful compliment. You should be He's proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you guys! It's it's great. To, I think I, I think this is the first time I've ever actually kind of chatted to you, and it's it's brilliant to be able to talk. And this is such an exciting time in the band's life as well. And I mean, you must be so so happy that everything has and come together like where it is now it's been amazing i mean like we're playing bigger shows than we've ever played and uh yeah it was like you know we've we've gone through some major changes and uh we're in a place now where you know we, we feel like like brothers and really tight and we made a record that we really wanted to make that was really raw emotionally and uh, reflecting the last couple of years of our lives and in, in, a, in, in a little bit heavier and darker kind of what three days grace set out to do 10 years ago um where we, you know, it's a very emotionally charged album uh, that just, it like, it's about real life, our real lives. And, um, you know, I think if you make a record that's very personal to you and, and it becomes personal to, to the listener because they know that it's coming from a real place and, and, like, that becomes a really powerful connection between Three Days Grace and our fans is that, like, we're, we just write about things that we go through but it's the same kind of thing that everybody goes through, you know, losing people close to us and just kind of going through everyday struggles and, and um, and that to us is like the reason why we make music and we really, I think, captured the raw emotion um, on, on the new album. And I think that there, they, there are so many bands out there who are just happy to release, you know, just, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with shallow lyrics about, you know, nothing important. But at the same time, I think people really do make, kind of notice the difference when people come along and do what you've just done with, like, with Human. I think they really, really do respect that a lot. Yeah, I mean, if you can, you know, if you can put into words what people are thinking and really kind of, I think that the, it, you have to be true to yourself, though. It has to be coming, I think it has to come from a real place. People are so sensitive to what's real and what's contrived in 2015. It's like, you got to, like, dig deep into your own psyche and, and bring out, even if it's, sometimes it's hard to write about, like, crazy stuff that you've gone through in your life. But if you can actually put those into words, that, I mean, you know, it, it, everybody's different yeah you're right people some people can write about just like partying and weird abstract stuff but which is fine but for us it's like it has to come from like something that we actually experienced in our lives you know and how have fans been like how, how have, has everybody kind of settled down a bit now has everybody really got behind you or are you still having a couple of people that you're having problems with I think everybody's digging it um, you know at first we we're a little freaked out but uh, it's been we have for a better turnout for sure yeah yeah I mean you know it's it's like life is about chapters and and like you know there's a new energy born in the band this guy's got full of piss and vinegar he's a little younger than us and he flies around so I remember the first show first show with Matt was in front of 8,000 people and he just came out like guns blazing we were just like oh shit we better step it up here this, this guy's flying so uh, you know there's a new energy born and, and it's a little more aggressive and uh, you know Matt's voice has, has uh, a little bit more of a, a, a aggressive tone so that allowed us to kind of write music 
music that had a little bit more of that like guttural sort of, uh, you know. And I mean, and have like have kind of fans of the band previously kind of looked after you as it were, or, and like made you to feel like a welcome, like a welcome addition. Or have people, have you had some trouble with people saying you shouldn't be doing this? Um, yeah, like at, at shows, I see people with like I love Matt and uh, I love everything about Matt, which is really nice. Like you know, I couldn't. We make them and hand them out. To them. <laughs> yeah, have them on the door. Right? Yeah, we have them. Yeah, we have free maids. So that 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 really makes me feel good, and and for the fans to do that is is really awesome. Sounds like you have a really, really good fan base behind you. It's like been amazing, well. yeah, to have these fans, uh, so many fans. And we're, you know, we, we just finished a three-week European tour, uh, Spain, Italy, uh, Poland, and, like, to get, you know, we're halfway around the world, and to have so many fans that are, like, singing every word to every song uh, is is meeting us at the airport and, like, Aww. knocking on our hotel rooms, which is okay, kind of sketchy. A bit. It's a bit much, but <laughs> still, res namaste, we respect. <laughs> but please don't do it. But please don't knock on my door. <laughs> yeah, but that's really good and it's so nice to hear the pair of you just sounding so kind of enthused about everything. It really, really is. It's, it's just a joy to see. Awesome. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for taking the time thank to you. chat. It really has been a pleasure. And I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day today. I already have. <laughs> thank you. Thanks.